Villagers are constantly being terrorised by pillagers. So today, I'm going to become a villager for 100 days and fight back. I will invade and destroy their outposts, their homes, and I will protect my village at all costs. And once I've done that, I'll move on to bigger and better things and become the greatest villager that there has ever been. Also guys, we are ridiculously close to 3 million subscribers, which is insane, so please, if you enjoy my videos, just press the subscribe button. And so this is where it begins, this is my, uh, my humble house. Yeah, it's, it, it's not very good. And this is the village where I reside, but we, we do seem to have a slight problem. We spent all our emeralds building this lovely village, a nice little community, and then, um... Yeah, <laughs> we, we didn't really plan it very well, did we? So my first mission is to go in, ransack the pillagers, and get out. This is probably up there as one of my stupidest ideas yet, but watch this, are you ready? He's not even loaded his crossbow. Look at that. You just got him. Look at it. Okay, I've been it. Guys, we're going. We're moving now. Anything good up here? You know what? It's not very good at all, is it? But the main thing is, it sends a message, okay? It doesn't matter what else. They've got the idea. Those villagers aren't missing. Oh dear, we've got one coming over here. I've, I've upset him. Okay, you know what? This calls for desperate measures. Before he ruins the beautiful ecosystem, I need... You need to get out of it. You... You can't do that. Will you just get out of it? So yeah, guys, that's what we're up against in this village. I need to take them down. And taking them down will only be the beginning of my plans for world domination. Now, just like all the villagers, I'm, <laughs> I'm secretly evil. First things first, get hold of some stone tools. And also a little bit of iron, which is nice. Can't really take out the iron golem because I'm a villager and that's just, it's just kind of evil. As a villager, I am also a vegan, so I will not be eating pigs. I, I, and I can't really steal all of their wheat because... You know, that's, that's for an emergency. So I better get some wheat seeds. And I know this isn't my house, but excuse me, sir. Do, do you mind if I... Yeah, I just, I'm just going to steal your bed. I hope, hope you don't mind. There we go. See you later, mate. Don't be too angry. Look at this guy for a fancy villager. As you can see, they all give me discounts because... Yeah, villagers get, like, mates raids. They get special discounts. Whenever I'm a player, they really do extort me. I'm also going to grab some flint. Then I can make a fletching table. Give this guy a... Br okay, I nearly just hit you there. Give you, <laughs> give you a brand new job. Sell him a bunch of sticks. This guy's just giving me a free cookie. I, okay, I will take it. But despite that, I, I I don't like your trade, sir. I need you to give me something specific. There we go. Free bread. Like, why would I farm when you can do it for me? I'm just here. I'm an unemployed villager. I feel like if I stand any chance to defend this village against those attackers, I need better armor. Look at this. A creeper cave. Okay, that's not what I want to see. Cave guarded by creepers. Let's deal with these guys. See, they see this villager and they think, they think they've got a they stand a chance, but... As you can see, they don't. Sadly, no iron, but I can get cobblestone. Then make a furnace, mine up coal. And I need to get to sleep before this village goes under a midnight attack. I think everyone's okay. It started raining. I'm going underground. Bit of a sad moment. Sadly, lost a glow squid. Oh, well, I can use it for some signs. Managed to find more iron. There's loads of it. Oh my goodness, what have we got here? Is this a fossil? Yeah, I found an underground fossil with a... Well, it's got an enderman in it. I know this is kind of ancient artifacts, but this will be perfect for the village. It's amazing. You just never know what you're going to find when you go caving. Probably get to work on these furnaces since my pickaxe is nearly broken. This iron one is much better. Now let's continue mining. I've already got the chest plate. Y you can't really tell, which is good because nobody will see it coming. Look at this lava. Now this could be a perfect place to find diamonds, you know. Actually, maybe not. We're on level 40. Yeah, this, it's not a good place to find diamonds. Let's craft some leggings as well. There we go. And some boots as well. However, this right here could be a good place for diamonds. If we go across three, we should have diamonds somewhere around it. There we go. Oh, we got him. Whenever you see Lapis, <laughs> always go and get the diamonds. And there's a mine shaft here, which is going to be perfect. What have we got here? Okay, well, look at that. Lovely diamond. Name tag, you just never know. And over there, there's more stuff. With two golden apples. Okay, those pillagers aren't going to know what's hidden. And now I'm going down to where there could be more diamonds. There's just creepers everywhere. Okay, I was right about the diamond. Okay, that torch isn't going to save me, is it? And did you really blow up a dam? Okay, it's okay. The diamond's safe. Yes, diamonds are for peasants. It says it on my t-shirt, but it's the best we got right now. More lapis right here. If I carefully dig down without falling in the lava, we get even more of these bad boys. And with that, I think it's time we threw away that iron pickaxe and upgraded... To a Hang on a minute, I've, I've, I've not got any wood. And I've found more diamonds, but I've got no way to mine them. But thankfully I have a plan. Yes, we can go to here, the abandoned mine shaft, make the sticks, and we're back on track. Might as well get a bit more wood for good measure. Oh, they have their logs as well in 1.17. I completely forgot about that. What a great game Minecraft truly is. One more diamond for the kitty. In fact, two more. Three more. I'll learn to count one of these days. Let's upgrade to diamond gear. Would you look at that? We found an axolotl. I'd like to steal you. And more lapis. So if I dig down this way, there's more right here. This is basically the legitimate way to x-ray. Found another mob spawner. And you know what? Nothing too useful. I'm, I'm going to leave everything there. And I think it's time I got back to my boys at the village. All right, guys. Not only have I come blinged up with loads of diamonds, Diamonds. I've also brought us a pet axolotl, so that can now live in there. And the next thing on the agenda is to build a wall. Not a single pillager will be able to get through these defenses when I'm done. Yeah, this <laughs> this wall hasn't got very far. We've run out of cobblestone. Looks like I'll have to do some mining. I will not stop until this village is completely safe from the pillagers. I was gathering up stone. I've actually come across a cave and I, I can't really... Wait, is this just the same mineshaft? 
Oh my goodness, you just never know what's going to happen when you walk around a corner nowadays. You don't know who's going to be waiting. And what have we got here? Hey, I tell you what, good stuff. And look at that. More diamonds just waiting on the ground. It must be a different mine shaft. And if I use this next bit of lapis, I definitely have all the diamonds that I need. And I'll grab these as well for good measure. And what have we got here? Hey, you know what, more bread. The golden apples, I just can't stop getting them. That was a pretty successful journey. Now let's get this wall down. The wall has almost gone round the entire village. So I'm going to need a few more of them to fully finish it. I've now got enough cobblestone to make plenty of walls. And now let's get all of these placed. And that is mission to protect the village complete. Sorry, good sir. Come back in. That's it. Come in through here. You are part of this village. We, we, we villagers, we stick together. Wow, you're like my twin brother. I'll probably just light the area up a little bit as well, just to be extra, extra safe. And now the village is as well protected as it can be. I'll go and get a good night's sleep. That was a pretty good night's sleep. It's still raining. Hang on a minute. The village is under attack. I think these guys just saw it as a bit of a threat. I don't know if I'm even ready for this. I'm, I'm a little bit caught out here. Sorry, guys, but I'm going to have to borrow some of this house. Then I can at least make a shield. I wish the rain would stop. Let's deal with these pillagers. Thank goodness I built this wall. It's uh, <laughs> going to be a very bad thing indeed. Thankfully, the rain has stopped and there's one raider left. He just can't find a way in, can he? I reckon this crossbow is also going to be quite useful. All right, Gon, come on. Just don't stand there. Do something. One villager against the world. That's right. I got my own crossbow now. That's right. Who's the pillager now? I'll take you all down. You know what? I'm going with an axe as well. Look at that. I can take these hits. Yeah, look at this. Dodging and weaving. Well, I am unlike two hearts now. I better be a little bit careful. And now for the real worry. <laughs> the Ravager. With my shield. Yeah, that's right. I can do this. Mate, I would really appreciate if you could help. You know, I, I'm, I'm just a villager like you. Come on, do something. Oh my goodness, they've got in. How are you? How, what on earth? You're not supposed to be able to do that. There we go. Hey, you took out your own one. That's right. Helping, uh, helping the enemy lines. Oh, my shield is broke now. Let's make some diamond boots as well. You know, guys... I'm really not sure if this is a raid I can actually win. These guys have come at me. I'm just a poor villager on my own. I've not really got much good stuff. And now that Vex is here as well, I'm just... I'm, I'm not sure. You know what? I've, I've got to run. Okay, I'm, I'm getting hit hard. Let's just run. I'm sorry, villagers. I have I have failed you. I am not the hero you wanted. I've just got to get out of here. Oh my goodness. I'm falling down the cave. Let's just... I, I can't fall in the cave. I'm just going to get as far away from here as I can, okay? My life depends on it. See you later, world. I... <laughs> I won't be ever coming back here again. So this is the new lands that I've come to. A new era is beginning. I suppose I better find a shelter. I'm going to grab sugar cane when I see it. It has almost gone dark. I think I'll just make a little cave and seek refuge in there. It's not much, but it's home. Since I haven't got a village that I can just sponge off now, I'll have to make my own food. So let's craft a hoe and I will go out here. Make this little water patch a lot bigger and create a humble little farming area. Now I'll need a load of seeds. I can actually use these bone blocks I got before to grow it. I don't need those villagers. They might be my brethren, but... Uh, I can survive perfectly well on my own. Then when I harvest those, I get even more seeds in return and continue the cycle. We'll create the farm. Check. Make a load more bread. Also check. Now to collect up more wood. Hey. Hello, boy. Dog. Out of nowhere. Don't go anywhere. Just, just get in that boat. If I can find a bone, I can tame him. Maybe I'm not as alone in this world as I thought. And before the sun sets, I'm also going to make a new chest, which will be a farming one. So it'll have my hoe in it, the wheat seeds, and also the wheat. And now, can I get a bone tonight? Mission accomplished, I got one. I tell you what, if six isn't enough, nothing will be. All right, dog, it's you and me. Come on, don't let me down. Do not eat all these bones. Thank you. All right, save me. I've got a spider on me. You seriously are the worst dog ever. Look at this. What are you, what are you, what are you, you're meant, you meant to help me. Oh, well, <laughs> at least I can go to sleep now. And now that I've got a dog, I feel like he deserves a name. And he shall be called Edgar. Yes, Edgar the dog. And now me and Edgar can explore this world. Another village? I... I don't know if I want to go there. <laughs> Although they may just mistake me for a friendly traveling villager. They, they don't need to know what I've done. Hello, good sirs. Did you speak villager? Uh-huh. Mm. No, okay. I, I guess he doesn't. <laughs> oh, wait, he does. Hello, good. Yeah, you got anything? Good? Look at that. Discounts as well. They like me. We're friends. Although I don't think there's much here for me at that village. And I can't exactly move in with them. I think it's time we went to another dimension. Don't jump down there, Edgar. What are you doing? You know what? You wait in the village. These guys will take good care of you, okay? Look, they love you. Meanwhile, I'm going to carefully jump. Okay, this is further than I thought it was, actually. That was, uh, <laughs> that was way too risky. First ever MLG villager, eh? This looks like a pretty good place to build a portal. Oh, my goodness. A creep. Are you... Oh, my goodness. We're all right. Flipping it. That is the last thing I wanted, though. There's another one over there. Who sent you guys? Probably those pesky pillagers. All right, well, I've, I've done a good job building this. I just have no way to light it. It's just going to be the old-fashioned method of using wood. Mission accomplished. And we're right by a fortress. Perfect. Although this right here could definitely be my last moments. Mission accomplished. Time to get those blaze rods. Very inconveniently, my axe has broken and I... <laughs> I don't have enough to make any other one. So I'm going to explore the fortress and see if I can find any diamonds or iron. Okay, mission accomplished. We got three diamonds. Once again, I will be a force to be reckoned with. I got nine blaze rods, which is definitely enough now. I may have been driven out of that village, but that doesn't mean that I can't fight back. I've already managed to get blaze rods. I reckon if I can get some full netherite armor and a load of OP loot, and then I can probably take down those pillagers. And once I save my village, I take on the world. And as I get close to my house, wait, is that another village? Indeed it is. So I reckon I should use these guys 
to get books. I wonder if this place has any bookcases that I can actually steal or I, <laughs> well, I mean borrow. Apparently not, so instead I'm going to need leather. As a villager, I am a vegan, but uh, I, I guess I'll still use it for my books. Nobody said anything about Edgar not being able to eat meat. And this is a perfect chance to search for more sugarcane. And I found quite a bit right here. What on earth is that? It's an exposed mob spawner. If I can find a bit of coal, which I have done all the way down here, then I can make torches. And I will definitely be using this mob spawner as an XP farm. And my... Guys, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean... I just... There you go. Did not expect that. I think I'm I think I'm getting closer and closer. You thought Dreamlock was powerful, but uh, clearly villagers are even better. Now I can make a load of books, two bookcases, and then two lecterns. Right, now let's try and get some good books from the villagers. I may also have to dismantle an entire forest because they're, they're not going to give it completely for free, are they? I, I mean, I may get some discounts, you know, villager rates and all that, but I'll still need a few emeralds to be able to afford their prices. So flint will come in very handy. Very handy for a fletching table. Hello, villagers. I come in peace from a distant land. To exploit you. Just kidding, but you can be the Fletcher and I am going to dig you into a hole. Hey, you are good, sir. And I, you know what? I like that discount. Now to do some deforestation. And now I can sell it all to you. Also, I'd like to just ask one question. What on earth is going on in here? Why are you all trapped in the trapdoors? Oh, well, I'm not going to wait for the answer. Just being the villager that I am, I'm going to exploit you all for it. Let's get some lectins down and let's get the books. My three trapped villagers are right here. This one will give me looting, which is perfect. This one is for mending, so I'll grab a couple of them. And this guy has them breaking. And the plan is to use a looting sword to get loads of ender pearls. First I'll craft it, and I could really do with more leather and more paper. Although it may be better to get the bookshelves a different way by finding the stronghold. I'm going to take the risk and dig down for lava. Okay, well, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Just falls into the lava. <laughs> There you go, well, we survived anyway. I also found some lapis, which means I can get diamonds. Next to mine up some obsidian. And that is 10 pieces, which should be enough. I think I'll build the portal right here. Let's see if I'm in a similar area as before. It is very, very close. I think that's the previous portal. Now to find a warped forest. Turns out there's a separate fortress right next to the where my portal is. So there's two fortresses right by it. In fact, I'm going to get that horse armor. Warped forest spotted. Now to collect up endermen. And I got my first ender pearl. And another one. And now I've got five. I've definitely got enough. Made it to the portal. And the eye is pointing that way. Looks like I'm going to have to go over an ocean. I think I spotted it, actually. Yes, I have spotted it. You can't beat an exposed stronghold. And now to find the bookcase rooms. I found the bookcases. It's not really the normal way that there's an entrance. But I'm not going to complain. Silk touch. I'm really happy about that. And here's bookcase room number two. Power four. That's a brilliant one. And also infinity. And that has efficiency or sharpness on it. Very nice indeed. And I also can hear what it sounds like the portal room. Okay, well, that wasn't it. I <laughs> just found the ocean. But I hear silverfish somewhere underneath. Let's see. Did I get straight in? Oh, I did. Perfect. Four more eyes can go in, so we just need six more. Next, I'm going to build a portal. There we go. Pretty tidy indeed. And that should be the quickest way to get back home. Taking me straight into the fortress again. Home sweet home. And now to sort out all of my armor. We're also going to need to craft one of these. Straight away, the sword got sharpness four. If I can make an anvil, then I can combine a load of different things to make it really good. But before we do that, we want to use up more levels. Look at that. Sharpness five with looting three and mending. Now that is a really nice sword. And next thing on the agenda is to create a simple XP farm. And I'll be doing that by using this spider spawn. First things first, I'm going to have to do some mining. The room is chiseled out, so I'm going to add water and then go and get some more. And then this water is going to come all the way along here. More water here and here. And I want pressure plates here and more water. And look at this, I can test it in action. So the spider can't escape through there and we can hit him. Next, I can remove all the torches and watch all the spiders come through. I just realized I made a mistake and the XP can't get through. So if I do something like this, it'll have a way out. And look at that, the farm's working perfectly. Also slightly tweak the design to add slabs above so that they'll come through better. This must be a scary sight for these spiders. I'm gonna AFK here and get loads of XP. I've been AFK here for way longer than I expected. I didn't realize that these XP farms were so, so slow, but I do think that I've now got enough levels. So let's head back home. I'll add some decent stuff to my armor. I'd better add mending to this helmet. It is so close to being broken as well as power four and infinity on the bow. Next, I shall chop more trees, craft them into sticks, get more emeralds, then I'll buy lots of mending. And if I want these on all of my armor, then I'm gonna need a little bit more XP, which I can get from the spider farm. Now I've got mending on absolutely everything in my inventory, but now I can use that to repair everything. In fact, I've got a better way to do it because it's just gonna take me forever if I sit there. My plan is to head through the portal, navigate towards the warped forest, and use my looting sword to get ender pearls way faster. And already, I definitely have enough. So next, I'll head to my portal. Things got a little bit, uh, a little bit sticky there, I'm on one heart. And now to head to the stronghold again. Although this time, 
we have a different mission. I just realized that it'd actually be way faster for me to use the portals in the nether that I made. And I need to remember to bring the paper and the gunpowder as they will be used for firework rockets. And finally, I decided to change my diet. I am no longer going to live off bread. It's, it's just too useless. Instead, dandelions are the answer. I think 38 should be enough for now. And before I head through that portal, I'm going to collect mushrooms that are very necessary. Now to craft suspicious stew and eat the good stuff. I also think lots of blocks will be very handy in the end. And now it's time to take on that dragon. It's more than a bit of a strange place, but this bow is going to be perfect. Just one villager <laughs> against the world. Already it's perched. I wonder if I can get rid of all these towers. Indeed I can. Now let's do it and put the power five bow to good use. Now can this villager take him down? Look at that. I can indeed. And all this XP is going to be brilliant for mending my armor and also my pickaxe for that matter. And now it's time to get the elytra. And this is the reason I brought so many blocks because we're going to have to do a load of bridging. But the ender pearls will also be very useful. There's an end city up ahead, but it doesn't look very big. I'll still go and check it out though. But there is another end city behind. Oh, is it another time? No, I think that one might have it. I spot an end ship in the distance. Perfect. But we also can get some shulkers from here. Shulker shell number one and shulker shell number two. Now let's make a chest, a shulker box and chuck a load of items in. And now we head over there. If I risk everything and throw the ender pearl, jump in the void. If it doesn't land, I'm in trouble. But we're fine. Another shulker box might be useful, so let's get these. And this place looks a little scary at uh, first glance. I think we just got to accept that we're going to get hit a lot of times. But I can't hit these guys as I'm floating up. Now then, what have we got here? Anything good? Loads of iron and a shovel. My other one broke. And everything else isn't really going to be needed for me. Um, and, and the helmet here? Well, I already have aqua affinity, so I don't need that either. I'm more bothered about going over there. And I see bridging as being my safest option. Let's land the MLG. Defeat the Guardian Shulker. And take the Elytra. This helmet is actually useful, which is good. Uh, do I even break? I don't have them breaking, so I could actually use that as well. Although, yeah, I, th I think that's fine because I'm not going to die. So Curse of Vanish is not a problem. I got the trusty anvil out and I put those together. Is that the best way around? I think so. Yeah, we definitely don't want it that way around because we want to keep sharpness. And a Prot 3 helmet. Now to equip the Elytra, take my firework rockets and explore the land. Look at that, another end ship up ahead. Yes, I know I look quite strange doing this. I'm just uh, literally walking on air. Elytra number two. And these are Prot 4. Let's do a bit of combining. We can go like that and then like that. And they're nicely upgraded. Should grab at least one dragon head to show all the other villagers. And now we'll see what's up here. More diamonds and emeralds and gold. And also a much better shovel. I can finally collect up an ender chest. And there's another one right here. And I tell you what, that was a bit of an improvement. Sadly, I'm at levels, but at some point I could upgrade them. And the same would be the case for this helmet. That is a massive end city. This maxed out fortune pick will go very well with my silk touch one. I'm very pleased with all the loot. Let's grab the egg and head back home. These are going to be very cool souvenirs to show the villagers when I get back to them. I'd also like to do a bit of mushroom farming, which is where you just do something like this. And then you look at that super fast axe going through it so fast. The final thing I want to do is grab a bit of sand, smelt it into glass. And I just heard something. Somebody fell. Hello, good sir. You must come from a far, far away land. Anything good? Well, you can just leave. Go back to wherever you came from. Next, I'll make glass bottles, fill them up with water, and get myself some strength. Although, to complete it, I will need a bit of glowstone. Now, I'm going to pack my suitcases, bring Edgar with me, release these poor villagers, grab mending, and also unbreaking. Put them on a brand new pair of elytra. These elytra, I don't really need. I'll, I, you know what? I'm just going to... You guys keep them, all right? From villager to villager... Take some Elytra. I don't know if they actually want them, but I'm getting out of here. Although not before one last trip to the spider farm. With that, I've got enough XP to combine the helmets. Now let's head to the village. I don't know if there'll be much of a village left to save. There may even still be a battle going on. All I know is that I will do my best. There it is up ahead. And it appears the raiders have gone. Well, these guys are out in the war. I mean, how's, how's life, guys? <laughs> Bet you're surprised to see me. All right, don't, don't gossip about me. All I can say is at least I came back and I'm, I'm going to finish what I started. I'm ready for round two against the pillagers. All right, pillagers, where's your leader? Okay, there he is. Yeah, I'm back. You think you can attack me in my village? You're wrong. <laughs> I'll see you at my place. All right, guys, don't panic, but I, <laughs> I may have upset those pillagers again. This time, you guys better do something. Actually, they've got more angles. It's three. Maybe they did win the war last time. I have no idea, but anyway, let's... Let's brace ourselves for a battle. Quickly pop a strength and let's show them how it's done. Oh, the tables have really turned this time. I am so much more powerful. They, they look at them, just dropping like flies. Oh, you think you can come at another angle? Well, think again. I am more powerful than all of you put together. And my bow's pretty impressive as well. Oh my goodness, wait, are they in? You really think you can do this? Get away from my friends. And this guy packed a punch, but not enough. I need another strength. Now to fight back. At least the golems are finally doing something. I was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Is everybody still here? Oh my goodness, they're in again. They're just too good. But mission accomplished. They're all gone again. Thank goodness the Walls holding up this time. Step one, get rid of the Ravager. And now get rid of those evokers before they can summon Vexes. I'm sorry, guys, but you can't defeat Infinity Arrows. Although maybe those Vexes can. Let's get rid of you before it becomes a problem. And now being armed with a totem, oh, things will really change. Come on, Golem, sort them out. Nice try with the crocodiles. I think I need more strength. And I'm coming over the wall. Look at that, three Golems up to one tiny little Vex. Guys, there's bigger problems here. Oh no, the, the men are falling. Okay, this is, this is bad. All right, I've got to be. You know what? This is where things get serious. There can be no messing about. Let's do it. Come on then, big guy. I'll take you all. They're all going, oh my goodness. Even with all that power, 
I'm still struggling. Let's use this bow. One and a half hearts. There's just too many of them. Now half a heart. I don't know what to do. You know what? We need food. I don't have any, so I've just got to dodge. Okay, there goes a totem. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now I just got to get my other totem in. Beat this guy and stop you, Mr. Captain. And that's it. The, the raid is over. The wave is done. We lost a few men in that battle, but a great victory and a well-earned sleep. Also, there's a creeper here, which is handy because I need gunpowder. Although it doesn't stop there, okay? We may have defeated them in that battle, but until this place is completely destroyed, yeah, we can't live next to them like this forever. And there's a village over here, which is probably having the same troubles. Don't worry, guys. I will save this village just like I saved my own. But before that, I'm going to need a load of gunpowder. And desert pyramids will be the place to find them. Already a little bit right here, and the sand's useful. And on top of all that, I want TNT. Oh my goodness, there's another one here. And they've trapped a golem. Well, I've got to free him. Don't worry, golem. You are now able to get out there and sort him out. That's it. Protect me. Go get him. Go on. That's it. Show him who's boss. <laughs> Show him what happens when they capture you. This is another village. I tell you what, the pillagers are just absolutely everywhere for these villages. It's just a shame that I can't help everyone. My first goal is to send a bit of a warning to these guys. Nothing too crazy, but enough enough to scare them. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I somehow blew myself up. Okay, that was that was not a good attack. And now they're just all angry at me. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I've got a plan. I'll lure them all into this hole, then cover it up so they can't escape. And with that, I can begin my project to dismantle their home, or even better. Burn it to the ground. That's right, pillagers. You have messed with the wrong villager. You invade my home, and that's what I do to yours. And whilst that burns to smithereens, my next plan involves getting loads of wood and defeating the pillagers with something very simple, but very effective. And that something is buttons. Yes, if I can place enough of these down, they'll be unable to spawn, and they're no longer a problem. Although there is an issue. They seem to have really strengthened their numbers. There's loads of them here. It's going to take brains to outsmart these guys. And thankfully, I, I'm one of the smartest villagers. Hey, this is a cool house, isn't it? But anyway, as I was saying, I'm one of the smartest villagers that I know. So I'll just smelt a bit more sand. And whilst I wait for that, I need a carrot. Doesn't look like this village is going to be much use. But hopefully this one is a bit better. Finally, I found some. He planted some for me. Then we make them golden. Then I make some night vision. I'll also grab a spider eye. Then I can make a fermented one. Make invisibility. Head down into a cave. And interestingly, find a mob spawner on the way. Although more importantly, find redstone. And then use this invisibility. Also, if you're wondering why I got the advancement and didn't get it before, if you break a brewing stand, you don't get the advancement. Now then, the next thing to do... Drink this, remove all my armor, and then sneak across. And look at this, I can place the buttons and they've got absolutely no idea what's going on. The plan really is working perfectly. I can even finish dismantling the rest of this building. Just look at that, their entire outpost destroyed. My invisibility ran out and uh, things got a little bit, uh, a little bit hectic. But you know what, I'm gonna armor up and turn the tables. I can probably place all these slabs while I'm being hit anyway. Well, I've now completely run out of wood, so I need to mine up a load more. Over two and a half stacks should be enough. I'm also going to make more invisibility. That should be everything I need. Let's go ahead and finish the job. And unfortunately, I have once again run out of slabs. This is a never-ending cycle, but it's starting to look very cool. I've now got five and a half stacks. I think that's definitely going to be enough. And also one final invisibility. I'm now getting very, very close to every slab being down. And once these are all down, I have a plan for all the pillagers. And there we go. Mission successful. Or maybe not. Now it's mission successful. Looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Now for the next part of the plan, I'm going to need some iron. Let's craft lots of iron bars. I've dug a hole in the middle and if I place iron bars around the outside and then another layer above with slabs on top and now if I fly high up into the sky then I'll come back down and realize I made a mistake. It actually needs to be sand and I fly up again and gracefully float down. We can see that I've... <laughs> I've trapped one in there. I just need to mine away these blocks for better results. And now if I go up 128 blocks, and now I'm going to drop down. As you can see, <laughs> we have trapped pillagers in the cage. Yes, how does it feel, guys, to be on the other side of this? If this isn't a massive victory for the villagers, I don't know what is. And now I can return to the village as a hero. Yep, guys, those pillagers, you'll never have to worry about them again. But there's more evil villagers in the world. I can't stop at that. I now have to defeat the evokers and the vindicators. And to get there, I'm going to need a cartographer to help me to find a woodland mansion. Hey mate, I love your outfit, but um, you're gonna have a slight change of job now. You're, you're a cartographer, yeah, that's, that's your new thing. No, you're not going, why do you not do what you're told? Seems like you've come to terms with it now, Mr. Cartographer. Please allow me to give you some paper. Well, as it happens, I've almost run out, so I, I should probably not do that. I should plant more sugar cane. Said I'll buy a few of these maps. And now you want glass. Well, don't worry, we've got a desert over here. Also, excuse me, farmer, but I'm, I'm here to support the economy and buy some bread. So now I shall mine plenty of sand. You know, one furnace, it, it just isn't enough. So let's take things up a notch, craft loads of them, and do some serious smelting. And I'd also like to spend the night hunting for creepers, because gunpowder is pretty Pretty essential and I had completely run out. I think all of this gunpowder should be enough. There's even two creepers lurking in the village that the golem once had wants nothing to do with. I should also grab another totem because I keep forgetting and uh, 
They're kind of important. All of my glasses done. I already know that I've got way more than I'm going to need. There you go, Mr. Villager. Now I just need to make a compass. And on the plus side, we've got plenty of iron, plenty of redstone. So we can very quickly craft it. Pass it over to him and get the map. It looks to be a long, long way away. And I need to make sure that I'm extremely well prepared. And I think before I set off, I want to head to the XP farm and get more levels. Since a better axe will be very helpful. And I want to repair my pickaxe. I mean, like to, I mean they're pretty, in pretty good condition. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I'm so, so sorry, Eddie. I completely didn't bring you with me. I haven't even shown you my village home or anything. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why villagers don't have pets. I am the worst owner possible. I've got enough levels and everything's more or less repaired. And I think the next priority is to get Edgar home to the village. Isn't this lovely? Just me and my dog on the open seas. Come on, Edgar, the village is just up ahead. And here we are. This is your new home. I'd also like to build a place for these two items to go. In fact, I'll place them on emerald blocks. And those emerald blocks can be on gold blocks to create something like this. I'm thinking, you know, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with this, but maybe we put that in the middle. And I have got diamond blocks, so let's go and change that to be diamond and also that with the torch in the middle uh, you know what <laughs> it's about what you'd expect from a villager look at this a villager randomly gave me a pumpkin pie how, how kind of them i should also be using ender chest so i'm going to put both of these shulker boxes into here then i can mine it with my silk touch and now to head southwest towards the mansion and i'm sorry edgar but you're not coming with me for this one this is something that i must do alone and before i properly set off i also decided to create more cages for the pillagers because it's it's just funny to see them trapped in there you know this is uh this is what it's all about. Yeah, you guys can't even get to me. And with that, I'm out of here. The size of the circle has got bigger, so I must be getting closer. I've only travelled about 20,000 blocks, nothing crazy. But worth it to take down those pesky illagers. And there we have it. Mission accomplished. Now then, before I go in, I'd better put my chest plate on and prepare for a battle. So far, the place looks empty. I mean, I, I have got a plan, but first of all... Uh, aha! Alrighty. Well, we'll just do a little uh, long range. Look at that. Doesn't even stand a chance. Oh my god, okay, this guy's... Uh, it means business though. It's going to take more than that to stop this villager. I've completely cleared out that side. Time to check out these rooms. Oh my goodness, he just... You know what? I've got a better idea. I simply lure him round here. I walk into this cell. Okay, this is where things could definitely go wrong. And then I just try and get past him. Yes! Ha 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 ha. You are now trapped. That's basically the theme of this video. Putting illagers in traps. Oh, look at this, a straggler up there. What are you doing? A bit of farming? <laughs> oh, three pumpkins and melons. I can take those to the village. The farmers will be very happy indeed. Now it's time to head up to the next layer. Oh my goodness, they've come in force. This time they were ready for me. Sound the alarm and all that stuff. But not powerful enough, enough to stop me. To try and say that again. Not powerful enough to stop me. Now I do need a bedroom for the night. There seems to be creepers infesting this one though. Oh, they've come at both sides. Hold on, this is getting... This is an attack. Hold on. What's going on? I'm just going to peacefully sleep in this corner. Now then, time to take down these evokers. You think vexes are going to help you? Big mistake. All of you are going down. Look at that. Use the creeper. Aha. Use your own enemies against you. Although it, it takes a lot of damage. Found another of these guys. They always seem to get the vexes spawned and it's really annoying. Okay, this guy's actually... I am... Oh, careful, SP. This villager needs to use a totem. Maybe I just bit off more than I can chew there. Seems to be crocodiles everywhere. And vexes. I don't know where this, this evoker is that's sending the crocodile. I think it's time to make a small tactical retreat and get serious. And as part of this tactical retreat, I want to grab some gravel. And also iron from the shulker box. With that, we can make two flint and steels. And you probably know what's about to go down next. Time for the old element of surprise. I'm going to break in the window. And that's right, guys. You can't save yourself now. You're all on fire. You just won't give up, will you? They've got me down to one heart. These guys are very worthy, uh, worthy. Oh my goodness. I'm into a corner now. Quick SP. Oh no. Oh dearie me. There's a reason this place isn't built for poor old little villagers. But look at them. They're falling from the skies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's right. Hang on. I've got fire resistance. I'm in the driving seat now, buddy. Yes, as your world crumbles around you. This is what you get for being horrible to villagers. I've never had so much fun in all my life. This place, though, doesn't really seem to be on fire. Let's... Uh, Sort that out. We've got some stairs here, so I want to go up to the top before... Is it stairs? I don't... Oh, yeah, they are stairs. Oh, my goodness, it's a... It's a nightmare up here. Oh, but there is still guys here, you know, in those final bits. I'll just set it all on fire for him. There's nowhere to run now, buddy. Although I am getting weak again. We've got this guy on the stairs, and you as well. Oh, my goodness. I, I am actually struggling here as well. This place really is going to smithereens. Okay, well, another top. That's actually a good thing, because I've got fire resistance now. The real question is, is there anyone left here? I managed to parkour to the outside. You know, I think we've done it. I think we have utterly destroyed this place. Let's have a look at it. Oh, yes. But you know what? There's, there's plenty of uh, roof intact there. And I might as well sleep whilst I enjoy my hard work. And then get back to setting it on fire. Here's a question. What is in this obsidian tree up here? Look at that. There's a diamond block. Well, don't mind if I do. And now then, is this going to burn? Well, well we've only got one way to find out. All right, it's there. I'm going to drop it down. Grab a water bucket. Jump after it. 
And there we are, we got a diamond block. The only survivor is the guy that I trapped in here. I actually made him safe from all this. Anything good in this chest? Uh, you know what, I'll take that. I don't think there's a single illager left in this entire place. That is why you don't mess with villagers. And now after that successful mission, I'm getting out of here. This is pretty good. A ruined portal. I'll mine up all the gold. And I can almost complete it. I just need one more piece of obsidian. If we have a chest here, which we do. Oh, well, look at this. Loads and loads of stuff. Place that there. I'm going to place this one here for good measure as well. And the last flint and steel use <laughs> will be on that. And then traveling home will be much much faster. Here is the fortress with the portal. And we've got subspace bubbles. All right, so we're at the stronghold. I think if I jump through here and then through here, yeah, look that. It took me right back to the village where I should now go to sleep. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm going to borrow your bed. Don't really have much to show from the journey, but I'm going to place this diamond block I got from them. I can also make an item frame and place a totem in there. And on this side, I'll place a pumpkin because I did steal a lot of their pumpkins. And you, good farmer, is is loads of stuff for you. I'm sure you'll love all of it. And now to address the next problem. I am a villager, a simple villager with peasant diamond tools. And also diamond armor. And whilst I may have rid the land of all those pesky pillagers, I need to take on a greater foe, <laughs> such as the Wither. And to do that, I first of all want to get netherite. Nice little spawn here, although no chest, which is sad. The reason I'm down here is because I need iron to make some shears. And because we're on 1.17, if I grab a shulker box, and instead on this iron ore use this fortune pickaxe, look at that, we can get multiple ones of raw iron, so we got like twice as much as we would have done. And I can craft shears, and start grabbing loads of wool from sheep. And then with this wool, I can craft beds. I think with over two stacks, I should have enough wool. I ended up shearing loads more sheep so um i have way more wool than what i originally planned to as you can see we've, we've got like yeah we've just got a lot four and a half stacks to be precise and again before i go and get the netherite i'd also like to mine away this giant tower because it, it just doesn't need to be here gonna take a little bit of skill there we go we landed on it and now to get mining that's much better the eyesore is gone i look so depressed guys yeah come on you, you could you could always come out if you want to know you can't yes i am a little bit evil but i <laughs> I also don't mind. I'm also popping to the XP farm to mend my elytra. And I've just had a thought. All this string could be used for more wool for beds. Everything's fully mended. Now to head through this portal and then start looking for ancient debris. Which means blowing up the area with beds. And there we have piece number one. Sadly, there is only one piece up here. And there's two more right here. And just while I was mining a tunnel for, uh, to set up another bed, found a piece right there. And that is the fifth piece. And this right here is my 10th piece and also my 11th. And right here, I found the 15th and 16th one, which means I will have full netherite armor. This villager is certainly one not to be messed with. I also think the blast protection on my armor is probably really useful for this. And that is piece number 20. I'm now on my last three beds. Let's see if we get anything from this one. Nothing. This one, also nothing. And finally, this one set me on fire and it gave me something. The final bed. I'm out of food. I'm out of beds. And I'm nearly out of health. I think the only goal now is to just get back home and grab any ancient debris I find on my way. And with that, I've got 29, no, 30 pieces. And here I am back at the staircase. I have one hunger bar left and one and a half hearts. I am so glad to have somehow made it back in one piece. And very conveniently, my farm is still growing wheat. So I can make a bit of bread and live to tell the tale of another day. Now, because my pickaxes especially are in a pretty bad durability spot, I'm going to spend more time at this XP farm. Everything is now fully repaired. So let's get back to the village. There it is. Home sweet home. I feel bad for this golem that's literally trapped outside. Now we smell all of the ancient debris. Craft a load of gold ingots. Thankfully, I have loads of gold here, so I, I'll definitely have enough. I also need to speak to that farmer to offer him more emeralds because I need a load more bread. Look at those discounts though on the the wheat I could sell him, but um, thank you very much, good sir. That, that should do me. Now to craft the ingots, make a smithing table, and upgrade all of my armor and also my tools. Very nice that the peasant days are behind me, except for the diamond axe, but that's just nothing but a technicality. Next, I'd like to try and track down some lava. Although this room portal will probably do, because I can mine this obsidian. Although only eight, so I still need to go and find more. And very annoyingly, I have run out of firework rockets. So it's definitely worth gathering up sugarcane. And also creepers. And mission successful to find lava. Next, I just turn it into obsidian and start mining. And with this pickaxe, it's also incredibly fast. On my way home, I'll grab more sugarcane and take out more creepers. Although that... <laughs> That wasn't quite the plan. Well, there's loads here. And I'm being an idiot and letting them all blow up. It, oh my goodness, right. You are the last creeper. And the only one I got gunpowder from. I think when it comes to creepers, less is definitely more. But right here is where the portal's gonna be. Just need another way to light it. And thankfully, I did keep that fire charge. With the portal all set up, now I just need to get the items to spawn the wither. And to find them, I'm best finding a fortress either in a biome like this or a biome like this. This certainly looks like one with a lot of potential. Let's start searching the land. And that is head number one. And that's the second one. And finally, the third one. Let's also grab a little bit of this. And now I must use just two firework rockets <laughs> to try and get home. Never mind, I found a gas so we can get more. Jamie only got one gunpowder there, but it gives me four rockets in total. And now I really am out of rockets, so I've got to be quite careful I don't fall into lava. It's got a little hairy in the fortress, but uh, one heart is, is better than no hearts. And now I shall spend the evening hunting creepers. And 
with over 30 gunpowder now, I think I've got enough. But we'll also take out these two for good measure. Now I can craft plenty of firework rockets and fly back home. So I've got all the items that I need. I will definitely want my bow too. But I'd really like to get normal protection rather than blast protection on that chest plate. So I shall set everything up and see what I can do. Although before I can do anything, I need to grab three pieces of stone, make those into slabs, craft some sticks, and then craft a grindstone. And then we'll say goodbye to all the upgrades on this netherite chest plate. It's, it's going back to a vanilla one. I don't think vanilla is really the right word, but you know what I mean. And straight away, I got prop three on it. That is, that is pretty good. You know, I'm happy with that. I should also steal this totem back from the middle because... <laughs> I kind of use my other one in the fortress and I really need it. Battling a wither is quite a dangerous thing, especially for a villager. And because I am nothing but a poor villager, I'm also going to need reinforcements. But to get those reinforcements, I'm going to need lots of iron. And with this pickaxe, getting it should be no problem at all. Look at that, more creepers, they could be useful. But more importantly, more iron. Found a mineshaft, which is going to be perfect for getting the iron. And I think it's a different mineshaft to the one that I was in earlier on in the video. Anything decent in this minecart chest? Just bread. Even stumbled across some diamonds whilst mining. And from those, I just got 19, which is pretty awesome. But do I really need them? I mean, at this point, uh, probably not. Let's just chuck them in the lava. Did that trigger anybody? I'm a villager. All I care about is emeralds. And also apparently iron. I, do you realize I've probably got way more than I need. I, I'm a little bit going overboard. But once you see it, you've, you've just got to mine it. Even more diamonds? Where was this cave and mine shaft at the start of the video? It even slightly pains me to do it, but yeah, diamonds are for peasants and they're certainly not for villagers because villagers are not peasants. <laughs> I keep finding them. I just can't stop. Oh no, my inventory's full. I, I don't have any space for the iron. I know what I can get rid of. The diamonds. If anybody here is new to my channel, they're probably wondering why on earth I'm doing this. Only the channel veterans would understand. Nice to be back out in the sunlight. Although I uh, <laughs> seem to be in the wrong village. Now it's time to fill up all these furnaces with iron. And whilst all of those are smelting, I need to go and find something else. And that something else is pumpkins, which I'm a bit annoyed at because I, I threw a load of them to another village. <laughs> I kind of need them now. We have got a few here, but I think with the amount of iron that I've got, I'm going to need more than this. Although I have to say, finding them is much easier with the elytra. I'd never normally be able to find all these on top of a mountain. And I think once I mine up these two pumpkins, I should probably have enough. And I've even found a few more on the way back for good measure. Now I feel like I have to go out and mine more iron, but no, <laughs> we've definitely got enough iron. All the iron is not far off smelting. Let's also grab a pair of shears and we now need to carve all of these pumpkins. Like so. It's actually quite a satisfying thing to do. So I'm pretty sure that should be all of them. You know, why am I still using this peasant axe? I'm going to make a, a brand new... Oh, wait, I burnt all my diamonds, didn't I? Just kidding, I've got three right here. Not the end of the world. Let's make a new axe. I went ahead and upgraded both of them so that now when I put them together, they're going to be pretty amazing. Hey, look at that. Efficiency five. Yeah, that's just what I wanted. Now when I mine these, look how much faster it is. And if I could find two more pieces of ancient debris, then the axe could be netherite too. I think we've got to go for it. Time is a little bit of the essence, but I think we can do it in time. Just going to randomly mine out the area and hope for the best. And that is mission accomplished to find some ancient debris. Now to get back home. Let's smelt these in a furnace. As you can see, all of the iron has pretty much done. There's just a few left, although that's kind of full, so I will empty that. I can also use this iron to kind of heal up my pickaxe. Get my netherite scrap and my four gold ready. Let's craft the ingot, and then we can finally upgrade the netherite axe as well. Let's also craft a bunch of iron blocks. So we've basically got a stack of iron blocks, which is, is a lot, really. I think we're ready to take on the wither now, and I know just the place. I may have eliminated one pillager outpost. But that isn't the only one on my radar, because there's another one right here. And there's, it's the one that freed the golem, I forgot about that. But this golem can only survive so long. It's time to step things up a lot more. Excuse me, you can't come in here. No, no, I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. Don't all come in. I'm, I'm doing something. And for a start, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Now then, if I place this like this, and then go one, two, three, and, and then I think I've got to get out of the way. And these pillagers will be in for a real treat. Yeah, that's right. You you attack it, you battle it all you want, but um, you don't stand a chance. Look at it go. It's just taking out all of the pillagers. Little does it know that there's a villager hiding above it, at least as long as it doesn't spot me. Uh-oh, I've now been hit. Okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's get out of the firing line. If I fly up more, loads more pillagers will spawn. And I just used my totem. That is that is super annoying. I was trying to get loads of pillagers, but I suppose that's mission successful. There's pillagers everywhere. They're all going after the wither. <laughs> Look at him. This, this is a real battle. And now whilst they're all distracted, we send in the golems. Oh my goodness. The, the wither's just going straight for the golem. I think it took out all those other ones. I, I, did I just upset the wither? Oh my goodness. There's love. That poor, poor golem. <laughs> You shouldn't have gone down there, mate. Being the mischievous villager I am, I'm going to lure this wither down here. Although it, it doesn't seem to care about them anymore. I'll just, I'll just hide in a cave. There's another iron golem in here. Get out of here. The wither seems pretty preoccupied over there. So I think it's time to send in the golems. That's one. That's it. Get him, boys. Protect this poor little villager. Oh, my 
my goodness, look at all the wither roses. What's the wither even, even doing? You know what, let's just let's just send him more. You know what, this is just too much of an unfair battle at this point. My golems are just completely useless against it. It looks like it's time for this villager to save the day. I mean, I have this powerful bow. I mean, I haven't really been doing it. Oh, don't don't make it angry at me. All right, golems, this is where you save me. Now I'm going to use my brain and actually put a chest plate on and then get serious about defeating the wither. Look at this, I've got a right angle on it now. It can't get to me. There we go, got it down to half health. It's time to go in close range. The golems are doing a bit as well. Let's just keep going. Come on, it's got to be weak. I think I can do it. It's me all the way now at this point. Come on. Yes, this villager has done it. And the pillager's going to ruin the day. Ruin the day. I was trying to celebrate, but uh, guys, 100 days is over. The, the sun has go, gone down. At least it got down to half a heart from the wither effect. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was 100 days as a villager.